welcome you here today to my kitchen. Or my cart. <laughs> or my kitchen, if you will. <laughs> Hashtag culinary humor, ladies and gentlemen, yes. And today I have brought with me a relic. From the Republic of Nauru, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the spoon of destiny, destiny, destiny. Yes. This spoon can only be used by the greatest chefs in the entire world. I obviously am one of them, yes. But I have brought this spoon today, hoping that I will find another one of the greatest chefs in the entire world here today at Bush Gardens Tampa Food and Wine Festival. Now, this spoon can only be used by the bravest, by the strongest, by the individual who seems to know the... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The spoon seems to be speaking to right her. to you. Hello, what is your name? Uh, Camille. Camille, wonderful Camille. Fantastic. Please X marks the spot. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a great big round of applause to Camille. Now Camille, do you think that you could be one of the greatest chefs in the entire world? Sure. sure. Yes, you say that very emphatically. Sure. Yes. Well, the spoon of destiny, destiny, destiny will tell us the truth. The spoon can only be used by the very best, not the mediocre, and not the poorest, but the best. Now, if you are the best, you can come and lift the spoon. The spoon, however, is like Excalibur. It will stay here forever if you are not the best chef in the world. Kraft macaroni and cheese will not do it. Do you make better than Kraft macaroni and cheese? Okay, good. We are off to a great start here today, Camille. Now, before we do any of uh, the heavy lifting, we should probably stretch out a little bit. So if you can go ahead and stretch out that shoulder muscle, just pull it across your body just like this, yes. Wonderful. And the other side, yes, wonderful. And then we will do a little bit of this. That is it. Right for the camera, yes. Wonderful, fantastic. Now, if you could please come stand right here for me, Camille. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on the count of three, Camille is going to try and lift the spoon of destiny. However, I need all of your help. I need for all of you to count to three with me en français. Now, how many of you know how to say one, two, three in French? It is so very simple. That is wonderful, yes. For those of you who do not know, we shall go ahead and teach you now, and our friends can definitely help you. You can cheat off of their papers. Please, repeat after me. For one, we say un, deux, trois. Oh, it is so very simple. So on the count of trois, you will lift the spoon, yes? Ladies and gentlemen, a drum roll, please. And count with me. Un, deux, trois. Lift the spoon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the spoon has spoken. Wonderful. Camille, you are one of the greatest chefs in the entire world. But I know that it is your first day on the job and your first day with the spoon of destiny, destiny, destiny. So how about you be my sous chef today, yes? Does everyone know what a sous chef is? It is very simple, it is an assistant, yes. So you shall like cut some vegetables, hand me spices, whatnot, you know. If you could go stand right over on that side of the couch and that will be your first order as sous chef. Now, as my sous chef, is it all right if I call you Sue from here on out? Fantastic, I was afraid you were going to say no and that you were going to have to sue me. <laughs> oh. Hashtag bad humor, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we will be making my international dish, Bubble Squeak and Squeal. I have made this dish for many years and perfected the recipe over time. Yes, now ladies and gentlemen, I will also need your help. Every time I point at you, just like this, I need for all of you to squeal like a little French piggy. <laughs> I need for all of you to repeat after me. Just go, squeal! Oh, fantastic. I think some of them have done that before, yes. So every time I point at you, squeal, wonderful. Now we will attempt to make my world famous dish, bubble squeak and, oh, fantastic. Now the first ingredient we will add today is ghost salt. Ladies and gentlemen, ghost salt is sea salt that has been soaked in the oils of the ghost pepper, rated the hottest pepper in the world in 2007 by the Guinness Book of World Records. And everybody said, Ooh. Yes, uh, the one person says, ooh, at least, yes, ooh. Now, before we go ahead and put any of this into the dish, I need to equip you with the proper safety equipment. First, you're going to need the mask of destiny. And 
the gloves of Destiny. Yes, if I can have this hand first, wonderful. Put those right in there. And you can put this on right in there. Wonderful. Now, if you can please hand me the ghost salt. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> You know, OSHA regulations and everything. We should probably also have you use the tongs of destiny. Everything is of destiny in Nauru. We are a very emphatic group of people. If you could please pick up the ghost salt and just bring it just over the pot. Yes, just barely over the pot. Oh, it's a little bit more wonderful. Now, I shall remove the lid. Now, ladies and gentlemen, ghost salt is a very spirited spice. <laughs> Um, I do not see anything in there. Uh, Sue, what did you do with my salt? <laughs> you don't know. I don't know either. Uh, here, let me get this spoon and let me see if uh, we can scrape a little bit out. At least it's a bottom and... <laughs> Uh-oh. I do not see anything on the spoon. Do you? No. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it is ghost salt. Maybe it is invisible ghost salt. Yes, I shall have to taste it and see. I have a better idea. Sue! How would you like to taste the hottest pepper in the world? No, no you don't. All right, I shall do it then. Ladies and gentlemen, I shall now, thanks to Sue, taste the hottest pepper in the world. <laughs> you know, actually, it's not that bad. I don't know what we were all worried about. Uh, you can take that mask off and throw it right in there. We'll just put the rest of it in here, the gloves too. No big deal. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Oh, holy guacamole! It's a hot. Woo! It's, I, 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 hold on. that it's the hottest pepper I've ever tasted in my life. Please get as far away from this pepper as you can. Go stand on the other side of the couch and for me. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I have put far too much of this spice in. We are going to have to cool this dish down a little bit. Come and please help. If I ask for the sage, please hand me this battle right here. If I ask for some thyme, hand me that. And some sugar, we shall use this one right there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is a well-known fact that you can cool a dish that has become too hot by adding a few other spices. Yes, first we would like to add some sugar, if you could please. <laughs> The sweetness of sugar will cut the edge right off that dish. It is so hot it's smoking, ladies and gentlemen, yes. If you can please hand me some sage. Yet another spice that likes to just cut the edge off of anything hot and spicy. And Sue, if you could please give me the time. Oh, yes. And if I could hold time in a bottle. I did, yes. <laughs> now, Sue, if you could please open up that pasta right there. It is time to add my final ingredient to my dish. Bubble squeak and... Oh, wonderful, fantastic. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is confetti pasta. Now, how many of you have ever used confetti pasta in your own dishes at home? Yes, anyone? In your... Oh, fantastic. You know why confetti pasta gets its name, Sue? Oh. Confetti pasta is so called confetti because it is so bright and colorful, many different colors, you know. I like to roll my own in my kitchen in the room, yes. As I roll out the spice, and right before I twist it into the rotini, I like to add a variable blend of 15 different red pepper spices to my pasta, yes. It creates a nice little kick to my dish, if you will. You know, I like my dishes spicy, so I always add the red pepper. And then as it soaks into the boiling water and all the oils and all of those peppers release into the water, yes, it creates a wonderful, wonderful spicy dish, ladies and gentlemen. Bubbles squeak and... Uh, oh, Sue! I think we added too much confetti pasta to our dish. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so sorry. I cannot give you any samples of this dish today. It is far too hot for human consumption. And now there is paper all over my dish. Yes, please give a great big round of applause to my sous chef, Sue. Thank you so much, Camille. You can go and join. Yes, wonderful. Please join me later today as I attempt to make firework shrimp with sriracha ice cream. It is hot and cold all in one, yes. But we have to wait until the sun goes down or you can't see the fireworks, right? Please enjoy the rest of food and wine here at Bush Gardens Tampa, ladies and gentlemen. Au revoir and à tout à l'heure. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir.